Then one slip and it all comes crashing down, all due to chance, chaos, randomness, and the lesser races wonder why the Batesium wished the multiverse to be an orderly construct. Deva lied. It lied. Tourist the betrayer tricked me into signing a contract, and I, blinded by the possibility of capturing him, walked straight into his trap. If he dies, the contract is over. But I have not been able to find him, and if I did, how would I harm him? What am I to do? Even these treacherous thoughts make my mind burn in pain. I was so sure I had that paragon of self-righteousness. That short-sighted greed cost me the rest of my centuries as glorious conniving and entombed me in the stinkhole of goodwill. Blah. <laughs> Updated my journal. Uh, thrice cursed foot rash. And now I am cursed to do good deeds, to aid those in need of aid. <laughs> An eternity of curses on Trius, a pox on his blessed aid. May all of the dung heaps of maladrum Domini ran down upon his head. He rants for a few more moments, and then turns his attention back to you, and speaks through gritted teeth. My contract with the David now bids me ask what I could do for you. Have you come to torment me or kill me? <laughs> not only come seeking knowledge. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I was told, well, what are you doing? I'm kind of curious about that. I was simply living my life in pain, numbering, and tragic solitude until you appeared without invitation into this crater of my life. The crater, such a metaphor for my life, for my existence, a pale shadow of the dwellings I used to possess. Okay. Uh... How did your wings get that way? Oh yes, aren't they beautiful? They were the first things to be stripped from me before my exile. Before I was forced to flee the burning halls of my people, the wings were taken as trophies by the lowly up as shy for banners in the blood war. My horns were snapped from my skull, and one was hollowed out as a drinking horn for my lord Bell, accused to be his a curse be his name across the plains. Uh, why did that happen? I have said all I intend to say on the matter of the betrayer. It w he, he it was who condemned me to this life, and he whose guts I will see stringing the gates of dawn like a celestial harp. No. No, no harm to the diva. Curses. S so it sounds like, uh, Trius somehow got him into this position. <coughs> I has to do good deeds, and whenever he has a bad thought, his head hurts. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Ask him to tell, tell us about Trius. Okay, he won't say any more th about that. Where is this place? A blasted crater in the Outlands that reflects the emptiness and hollowness of my life. I need a little. Marrow from the creature supplies me with food, and the peculiar energies of the place prevent scurrying fools from finding me. Though idiots apparently can still find their way here. Uh, what is this creature? This is the skeleton of Ilgoras, the father of the Goristro. Their living bear-like siege towers, juggernauts of chaos, huge, practically unstoppable, highly resistant to magic. And old Goris bones in the crater where the f he fell to his death radiate much enchantment that prevents magic to spy me, keeping this pitiful frame alive for a few more desperate years. F uh. Okay, well, let's ask about our mortality then. He scrutinizes you closely for the first time. Memories run like hollow canyons through my mind, almost human. Many creatures have I met in an immortal's time, though I do not believe you were among them. Forked tongue. <sighs> Sorry. Forked tongue shrugs. You all look alike to me, and I think I would have remembered the scarred flesh of your body. It's much like the breathing paintings that bedeck Bell's gallery of skins in Bat, or 
except with less grace and more passion in the scar strokes. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about my mortality. <laughs> very well, very well. He scratches his head. If I recall correctly, uh, there is so much I do not, thanks to that accursed Deva. I have heard of a case such as yours. It makes you immortal, does it not? Yes. If so, then death itself is no longer sacred. In my day, mortals remained so and knew their place. Now everybody and their mother has the disease of eternal boredom. Oh, we should have a gathering and invite everyone across the plains and offer them immortal contracts. It would save all of us hard-working Batesi with a great deal of effort. You don't know that if everyone were immortal, this entire petitioner system would be up in the famed Fecal Creek. Immortality is not a trinket to be given to unruly children such as you. Just shut up. Stop giving me a moral lesson. As I was saying, I recall hearing somewhere about a place called the Fortress of Regrets. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, what do you know of the place? He smiles widely. I am pleased to inform you that I do not know, not at all. I cannot help you to get there, and that chills my heart in such a delightful way. Nope, I can't help you. Oh, how I've longed to say those words, how sweet they t- Do you know someone who does? <laughs> wow. A ton of experience. <laughs> Ah, uh, enough of your cross-examinations. Yes, yes, I know somebody who might know. On Batra lies a pillar of betrayers, liars, and sages. Despite their nature, their knowledge is considerable. They might know where you can find the Fortress of Regrets. How do I get to Bator? Updated my journal. Hold on, Chief. Bator is bad news. This fiend is probably holding out on us, and even if there was a pillar of skulls, we can probably find somebody else who knows how to reach this fortress without going to one of the most dangerous planes in the multiverse. Are you holding out on me, Forked Tongue? Fah. Have I not told you of the nature of this cursed contract? I cannot withhold this information. The pillar is your only hope. Uh, Mort, why don't you want to go there? It's a dangerous place, Chief. I'd rather not go. I've been, and it isn't pretty, all right? Well, Mort, you seem to think that every place we've ever been has been, like, the most dangerous place, or, like, the worst place that we could be. So, I don't know how seriously I'm gonna take that. <laughs> it's not like we've ever been to any fields of rainbows and happiness, so... <laughs> uh... How can morons speak so much? <laughs> okay, uh, I have to know how to reach the pillar. What do you need to know? How to get there? What is it? What? What? <laughs> Tell me how to get there. There's a portal outside my home. It lies in the hand of this giant creature. Go through the arch formed by the left arm of the creature and you'll be taken to the pillar of skulls. The portal will be active for you now. Okay, well, then we're going to rest here. Uh, we'll actually see if he he will sell by and sell. He emits a strangled croak. I have some few, very few items that I have accumulated over the years. They are precious to me, but if you need them, uh, probably more going to sell you things. Oh, he has, okay. Uh... I entertain no thoughts of strangling you and leaving your corpses for the trail hunts. There's a, a cruel looking axe. Hatred's gift. Find weapon for one, such as yourself. There's a curse on it. Uh, I guess we could take... I guess we don't have to buy any of this stuff. I guess we can just take it. So... Hmm. Uh, if the, if it's a really a cursed axe, uh, well, I think I'll ask about the other stuff. The Gordian knot cut cut it, and you become twice the leader you are already. 
comes with its own price. So it, probably all these items are cursed. But I think... Gordian Knot... I think I've had a... There's been a reference to this in... in a different part of the game. I, I think we'll take that. Of course you will. Is there anything else you require from your humble servant? Uh, the green lozenge. That's an adder's tear. Okay. Eh. We already have those. Uh, a green steel knife. A memento for my time in Bator, a knife carved from Batorian green steel. Okay, uh... Take it, I'm not sure I'm done, though. Um, I think we will take that. Could make use of it. Uh... Green-hued dagger, didn't we already take that? Well, he's just not playing this one up. I think we'll take that anyway. Um, the squirming bugs. Those are cassids. Parasites that will lodge in your brain and devour your mental energy. With no appreciable benefit. Uh, they boost your mental power, so you surely could use. Boost your mental power. I think we will take those then. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Oh, gosh. Um. I couldn't carry any more, so I had oh, to drop it. I wonder if that's going to create a um, bug where we can get an, an unlimited number of these. Uh, because it's not showing up as an is in our inventory, but it's, it's on the ground. So I don't think I'm going to abuse that if that's what's going on. Uh, um, we'll ask him about spells. You will strip me of all my possessions. Uh, a nice remove curse. Yeah, let's go with that. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. So he has a remove... Curse scroll. Um. <laughs> Sticky and ice storm. It sounds too dangerous. I think we'll I take that. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Um. Blade storm. I couldn't carry any more, so I had to drop it. Okay, so. I think everybody has leveled up. Yeah, okay, so we did, we got two of those, um, probably not supposed to have. Plus three to intelligence and plus one to wisdom, that's definitely good. Uh, let's go ahead and... So he has a green steel dagger, a green steel knife, okay. This is not really even special, though. Hmm. Might be worth something. Or, you know, it could be used um, later on for some special purpose. What is this? Just a regular stiletto? Let's get rid of that. Okay, he's got a lot of blinds. Didn't learn that one, it's already in. Okay. Uh Scroll of Greater Embalming. Oh, okay, that's a good one to have like a healing spell for Nameless one, and he has... Okay, we've already got two Remove Curse Scrolls. So I'm gonna have him learn that. I'm gonna have him learn the Ice Storm. And the Blade Storm, which are level 7, but... Get to them one day. 
So, yeah, I guess we could still... All right. Oh, yeah. Take Done. more from this guy, but, eh, I don't know. kind of feel like... don't really want to be weighted down with all this junk. 